Hello everyone, Brother Roop here with uh, one of my dogs, Rocky. He uh, wanted to be in the video, he said. I want to talk to you about uh, biblical languages where everybody spoke. Um, the common people all spoke Aramaic, so almost everybody was speaking Aramaic. Uh, you had a large Greek population in Jerusalem. And so quite a few people spoke Greek, which was the language of business back in that day. You had a lot of large Roman government and military people there. They spoke Latin. Latin was the official language of the Roman Empire. And so any kind of government or military um, transaction is all done in Latin. And then you had uh, um, uh, Hebrew, but Hebrew was only spoken um, by the priests. Uh, the people of Israel spoke Hebrew before the uh, banishment to Babylon, but once they went to Babylon, uh, Aramaic was the, uh, the religion of Babylon, the people of, of Babylonia. And so they learned to speak Aramaic there. And so when they came back, they were all speaking Aramaic. Except for the priest. Uh, they still spoke Hebrew. And Hebrew stayed as kind of a religious language. Only the priest spoke it. Uh, they read the scriptures that were still in Hebrew. Uh, you had the Septuagint, which was a Greek translation. And that was floating around, but... Uh, so you had Hebrew spoken by the priest, you had Latin spoken by the Roman government and military officials. Um, you had Greek spoken pretty widely because that was a language of business. And 90% uh, and of the people probably all spoke uh, Aramaic. That was the language of the common people, Aramaic. In fact, the entire region... Uh, from modern-day Turkey to Egypt, all the way down to the Persian Gulf. Uh, that was all Aramaic-speaking areas. They all spoke Aramaic. Uh, specifically, Syriac Aramaic. So uh, that was the, uh, the languages of the, of the Bible days. So, thank you.